y'all. This is Mariah with Mario's Inc. 21. Um, so this is a big update. It's been about six months since I've had any videos. Um, and most of my videos are just me doing, like, recording my DoorDash income. And, uh, paying off my car loan. If you watched the, watched my car loan payment, um, paying that off, you would have seen that I, oh, at the end of March, um, Whenever I paid that off, the only loan I had left, loans, two loans I had left, were my student loans, um, which was about just over twelve hundred dollars. Um, but life happened in April, and I'll get and I'll explain it all and within like, today's video. And then when where, so it's basically gonna look what's happened the last six months, and then where we're gonna go from here, and then how much debt I have left to pay at the moment. Um, and how much I've paid off in the last six months. Um, so, we're just going to go with the end of, beginning, a, end of April. Um, and then I'll explain what actually happened between April and now. So, end of April, um, the ones I had, let me just see this. All the ones I had at the beginning of the year was my medical, my car loan, my student loan, one, and student loan two. Um, overall, I had 11 student loans, but we're do I'm down to two, so it's one and two at the moment. Uh, I'll probably do a whole, but I've paid off when eventually, when I figure that all out. I have the numbers written down, so I've written it down several different times, but, um, yeah. I do have a video from back in January of a bunch of, like, what I've paid off, if you want to go watch that. Um, so yeah, so medical at the beginning of the year, I was at, this is gonna, I'm gonna go back up. I was at just below 1600. I'm not gonna say exact numbers, you guys can see it. I paid that off sometime in February and March, so it's paid off the amount there. My car, my rogue, my rogue, I was just below $3,000. Um, and then by in the beginning of April, I paid it off in the total amount. This does not include interest. I don't know what it is with interest. So was, I was going to do the amount that I had written down. Um, and then in student loan one, I didn't catch at all because it's in deformant because of the it's it's Great Lakes, it's federal or whatever it is. It's in deformant till um January. And then my student loan two was eight thousand two hundred thirty-eight dollars and three cents. I just made a monthly payment of like a hundred and some dollars each month. So by the time April came around, I had paid off forty-two bucks of it. Um, I think it was a little bit more, but the number I had was that. So that's what I'm gonna go with. So at the beginning of the year, I was just below seventeen thousand dollars. I was at sixteen. $16,934.84. When April came around, I was, that's a one, by the way. That was at $11,940.57. So just below the 12000 mark, which is where I wanted to be at. Um, and then I paid off just below $5,000. With interest, it was probably over the $5,000. But the amount I have is four hundred. Four thousand nine hundred eighty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents. So that's where I was at. End of April, I was at. All right, out on here. End of April. Loans below twelve thousand. Ha ha ha! Ha! Just wait. Yeah, I know. I have a crappy handwriting. I know that. I don't really care at the moment. That's not the point of this video. Um, so, story time. My, I knew, I knew this was going to happen because it's just how my cars are. Because I did for do delivery, did delivery full time. I knew this was going to happen. I do take care of my cars. I do get mainly, um, like, how about, like, 4,000 miles, I get an oil change. How many miles it is, I get an oil change. I get checked by an actual, like, dealership where I got the car. Used dealership, but still. Um. 
so end of April, my transmission blew. Like it just stopped. Like I literally, like thank God I was in my neighborhood. The transmission just stopped working, and I just it just stopped going. Like I was literally in the middle of a ton, and it just stopped. Um, luckily, I was in my neighborhood. I was safe. Nothing happened. But I got towed. They got looked at it and told me it was a fourth. It was a somewhere between four thousand five thousand dollar bill. And because I'm on the Dave Ramsey plane, well, close to it, um, didn't have $5,000 in my savings. I could have come up with it. I could have. But for multiple reasons, I decided to trade it in and get a new car that had only that's about 10,000 miles. Um, and getting up my third car loan. So, that's where we are at today. Today, today, um, so beginning, this is, I'm going to show you where we are beginning of April, beginning of May, and then where we are now. That's done. So, beginning of May. My debt's. I just, I literally just transferred over. Yeah, you just saw that. I literally just transferred over state loan and state loan too. We've been over that. So, beginning of May. I buy an Outlander. My loan is, I, I put money down, stuff trading in blah, 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 value, blah, blah, blah. The loan. $15,656.50. Yay for another loan. But that 10,000 miles and 5,000 of that would have been, um, actually, no, a little 6,000 of that I would have been spending within, like, two months of anyways. So, um, because there's a few other things the car I was going to need. Um, it was out of warranty. I'd just gotten over 100,000 miles of the road, which is the reason I wasn't covered under warranty. We got that. So, total... $27,605.04. Yippee. Luckily, so I kind of just, like, I literally just had to stop doing YouTube videos because I literally just paid off the car and I had gotten a new car. And I was like, and a lot of, and I was moving and a lot of stuff was happening all at the same time. That I was like, YouTube has to be put on hold and Rose Inc. has to be put on hold for a little bit. But it just has to be put on hold. Just hold it. Um. So now, end of May, August, but today, October. Student loan is at, I'm going to write this in now, is at 3800 I want it, I want it, since they're, they're interest, I want it to be on it, to be on about numbers, 100, but the 100. My student loan one is at 3100 Yes, I decided to tackle that because I had the biggest in more interest and I just wanted it done because this is my guide school. Yes, I have my guide degree. We're going to go into that later. My last guide degree loan and this is undergrad. My last undergrad loan. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Um, and then my outlander as of right now. I have it written down. 11900 Thirteen dollars and seventy cents paid off. Three thirty fifty four. I'm doing math on fly. Four seven eighteen zero three. Please tell me actually what that one out. That one I can't do the math on fly. Whatever it is, I'll figure that out. But the total amount... Okay, so we have back to this. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place. That I'm down to is... 18... $813.70. So I'm back under $19,000, which is fine. Um, No matter what, since this is under $1,200... When this is all said and done, I will be under 12000 when this is 
back to the 12,000 mark, which is where I was at the end of April, beginning of April, whenever. Um, and then, so the amount, total amount I've paid off so far, I'll figure that out later. I don't have it written down. Um, 8,700, 9, 8,000, 9, hold on, let me just write it out and then I'll read it. 8,791 dollars and 34 cents. Um, I paid off since April. We want to do a combination, which we can right now, because I don't, I can possibly. No, I can't, because the phone, my calculator's on my phone, and my other version, I, ha I have no idea what my other calculator is. I'm not about to go look for it. So I'm going to take you off and then be right back. So I figured all the amounts. The amount for the car was, I paid off as $3,742.77 to the principal, budget interest, I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, total amount, which I'm going to highlight in green, I paid off, yeah, is $8,791.34. The total difference between that, the total amount between end of April and now I paid off. Thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy-seven dollars and sixty-one cents. Which is actually a lot of money considering and then we have two months left. Yeah, we have two months left. Um to do this and I want it at about, well I don't really care about that number. I want it I want my um I'm just gonna run here. Goal for and of 2021 is to have student loan to pay it off and student loan one under 1500 um because I can easily come up with 1500 in January. January is always a harder month with, with, with the things I do. Well, with delivering and booking and pee, like, with food service because it's no one wants to pay money, no one wants to leave, blah, blah, blah. So, it's just after the holidays. Um, so, yeah, those are my goals. Um, my next video is going to be with how I am going to tackle all this next two months and what my goal is. I set up 2022 correctly. Um, finish up this year correctly. Because remember, if you saw any of my original videos, I'll go back. My, my word of the year was to finish. My goal, so with that goal, with that in mind, all right, now, this is to help me think what I'm doing. Um, finish. Was to finish. It was originally to finish paying off loans, but however, life happened. So if I'm under fifteen hundred, I'm happy, considering everything that's gone on this year, these past two years, like in the world in general and just personal stuff. I'm just done. So finish loans. Set up. I'm gonna call Amrose Inc., which is basically this channel. So that's my business that I want to do. I never wanted, um, I knew, I'll go into, we'll go into, I'll go into the next, but this, that's the quote's coming up to finish that. Those two things are my number, two, my two number one goals for the rest of this year. And I'll get into it later, but this video is already about 15 minutes long. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good day. Please like, subscribe, etc. Leave a comment. Let me know. How 2021's gonna be going for you. Um, have a good one. Bye.